Hello everyone. So now we are going to do the router on a stick. Okay, some of our student asks that one also. So let's do that one. So instead of creating the topology from the scratch, I will use the same topology. What I will do here, we will take this one. Let me disconnect. I will take one router. Okay, I will take because first we will do the traditional method. Then later we will do the router on a stick. Okay, so this I will connect here. Okay, I will connect this here so we can say this is a traditional method. Or if you want, I will do the first router on a stick. Your wish, which one you need, I will do. So anyhow, first we will do the traditional method. So what we need to do when you are doing the traditional method, you need to connect the two cable. Okay, here we will have one IP. Here you will have another IP. This port will be in that. Uh, VLAN this port we can put in that VLAN so let's do that one so you will have the idea okay so let me check you can differentiate which port is connected to which side or not so here if you see okay this port fast ethernet 0 by 1 is connected to fast ethernet 0 by 4 okay and this port f0 by 0 is connected to f0 by 3 okay f0 by 3 Okay, so let's do the traditional method. So in that method, what we will do, example, this PC is 10.3 and you want to make communication between different VLAN. This is a 20.1 and 10.3. So if you are uh, planning to ping from here, that is uh, which one that is here 20.1, it will not work. 20.1, if you try to ping, it will not work because they are in the different VLAN. If you are directly connected to the switch also, it will not work because they are in the different VLAN. So what we are going to do for the traditional method, I am going to configure the gateway here to this interface and this VLAN 10 gateway for this interface and I am going to put this, uh, what we can say, this link in that VLAN. And same thing I am going to do this uh, gateway as this interface IP and this port will be in that VLAN. Then it will start working. So we are going to check that one, no issue. Okay, we are going to do that lab now. Let okay, so what I will do, first of all, let me go here. This is the router CLI, I will write here no. And you need to see here, if you want this port, this is a F0 by, F0 by 1, okay, F0 by 1. Or let me do first one port configuration then we will do the other port configuration I think it is having some confusion so first we will do this one okay so this one I will write enable config T then I will write the I will change the name as a R1 this one then interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1 I will write here IP address whatever IP we want to use which VLAN you want to use put that gateway here I am using this for the VLAN 10 okay so I wrote this IP so what you can see this is the gateway of the VLAN 10 I assign here then this port you need to put in that VLAN so we assign the gateway for the VLAN 10 in the fast Ethernet 0 by 1 so this is the VLAN 10 so what I will do here I will go to the switch I will write enable config T then interface fast Ethernet 0 by 4 I will write switch port mode switch port axis VLAN 10 so I put that port in the VLAN 10 if you want to check right show VLAN brief this port F0 by 1 this one and this one in the VLAN 10 okay so now this one we assign the gateway whatever gateway we have example if you check here in this machine we have gateway as this one 10.100 I assign that one here in this router 10.100 same thing now what I will do I will connect this cable I am connecting from where if you see here I am connecting this uh, F0 by 3 here and here what is that one here F0 by 0 okay if you see red color here is F0 by 3 here is F0 by 0 so now if you see here do show IP interface brief just I want to check which interface is down here this one F0 by 0 so F0 by 0 we are going to assign the VLAN 20 so I will write interface F0 by 0 
and then I will write IP address. I will write here 192.168.20.100. Then give 255.255.255.0. I will write no shirt. So this interface F0 by 0 I assign to the I assign the 20.100 that is the gateway for the VLAN 20. So this is a VLAN 20 gateway and this port here F0 by 3 okay F0 by 3 I need to put in the VLAN 20 it is already in the VLAN 20 so no need to worry. Now they should communicate different VLAN they can communicate before it is not working now we can check. So we can check this is a 20.1 IP so now it will work. So this is a traditional method we are calling here we have the limitation because of the port if you have two VLAN we are using two port imagine if you have 100 VLAN then how many ports we will use in the router we have less number of port so this one is a not a practical practical what we can say in the real scenario we cannot use these types of scenario okay in the real situation it is not working so we need to do the troubleshooting if we are having any issue then we need to do the troubleshooting so it is not working we will look what is the issue maybe we do misconfiguration maybe we do the misconfiguration anyhow we will check no issue this 10.3 first we will check our gateway this is a 10.3 and 10.100 so this one is good and let's check the gateway here 20.1 and here is 200 dot this one and this port f0 by 1 f0 by 1 f0 by 4 is in the vlan 10 f0 by 2 and f0 by 3 is in the vlan 20 so this one f0 by 3 this port is in the f0 by 3 uh, here is f0 by 0 and here is 3 or yeah so I think 0 3 means let me check show VLAN brief here one port is missing that's why maybe which port is missing here let me check again we don't have f0 by 3 right that's why it is not coming so we will move I will write interface f0 by 3 then we write switch port axis VLAN 20 now we can check I can write show VLAN brief why it is not coming one port is not coming where it is that where is that port let's see f0 by 3 maybe we make that trunk for that port that's why it is not coming here I will write show interface trunk yeah f0 by 3 is in the trunk that's why it is not working so what I can do I can remove the trunk I can write interface f0 by 3 no switch port mode trunk okay I remove from the trunk that one See, this is a troubleshooting we are doing here troubleshooting now I will go in the global configuration interface f0 by 3 then I will write switch port switch port axis VLAN 20 okay now we can check it came or not show VLAN brief and if you see now you have this port here in the VLAN 20 so it should work now so let's go here and if you you can check here spanning tree is still working if you don't want to wait press this one and go here and check now okay let's see it is working or not yeah it is working so we have misconfiguration actually that port is in trunk that's why it is not working so what is the concept here see here before closing let me explain the concept this port is in the VLAN 10 okay so what I done this one also I put in VLAN 10 and here whatever the gateway I am putting in the VLAN 10 that gateway I assign to this interface and this port is in the VLAN 20 okay and I put this port also in the VLAN 20 and here whatever the gateway I am putting for VLAN 20 I assign that IP here that is 192.168.20.100 so traffic is coming here and they are going with this way here problem is port limitation example if you want to create the 20 VLAN okay you have to imagine you have 20 VLAN and you need to do the inter VLAN that means you want to make the communication between different VLAN and in your real scenario you have 20 VLAN 
so for 2 VLAN you are using 2 port if you want to do same thing for 20 VLAN you need to have the 20 port in the router and this is not a good practice you will connect 20 cables to the router this is not good okay so this is a traditional method if your organization is very small and they are using they can use this way no problem but nowadays we are not using this in the big organization you will not find this type of scenario you will find SVI switch virtual interface in the layer 3 switch so this is one method with this method also we can make the communication between two or more different VLAN this method is known as different interface method or the traditional method okay i hope it is clear in our next class we are going to discuss router on a stick because still in the small organization they are using router on a stick so we will learn that also thank you